My name is Mackenzie and this is Spencer. This is our home that we are building together. It is an off-grid shipping container home that will run completely off solar power and we will harvest rainwater for all water usage throughout the entire home. This is our completed rainwater harvesting project, start to finish. Hello, is anybody in there? <laughs> Damn it. What if someone answered? That's my line. We just got back from the store. We have all of our materials. We have decided that we are going to be keeping the water tanks in this location. I like it so much better than over and in front of the house. And being over here, now they can be slightly shaded by all the trees over here, which is really nice because it'll help them last even longer. Yeah, we were gonna, we, we priced out some underground tanks uh, because we always liked earth ships and we wanted to do something similar but just the price the price alone was easily three times as much so for anything this size so that's why we're doing these tanks and in this location and the materials we just went and got are just to start the whole process of marking off the area so we can start leveling it and once that's done we can get these bad boys in place I guess your teeth. I just had lunch Good. oh my god you have Four things in your teeth. Do I? How about now? Uh, I don't think they can notice.
really, we need to start putting them to work more often. Come on, dig it up. <laughs> Sliding. You're like dancing with it. What are you doing? <laughs> Val? Go. Keep going. There you go. Alright, stop. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe you're gonna push all that dirt into the tank. <laughs> 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 okay, give me a stop. <laughs> you, so you just look you get like this terrified look in your eye. <laughs> This project was definitely proving to be more difficult than we originally anticipated. Just getting the heavy tanks into place took much longer than we thought it would, but it was now finally time to start connecting the cisterns. All right, just to give you guys a brief rundown of how this whole system is going to work. So when it rains, the water is going to run off the metal roof into the gutters 
and then down the uh, pipes over to this tank. And how it's going to get to this tank is by gravity. So the water, these tanks are going to be lower than those gutters. So gravity will force the water into that first tank. So once the water feeds into this tank and then the water level rises up to this pipe, it'll then equally fill every tank. Every tank will equally fill and also equally drain. Of course, every tank has their own shutoff valves. That's what's inside these boxes. And then as far as getting the water back to the house, it'll flow out through this pipe, roughly over here, where there's gonna be a pump house. So there's gonna be a uh, water pump, uh, pressure tank, water filters, all that stuff. And then the water pump will pump it to the house. With the tanks all connected, it was now time to start building the gutters on our shipping container home that would capture the rainwater and lead it over to our storage tank. So much. He's stupid.
So we've decided this is our new shower. <laughs> Are you serious right now? If I had a nickel for every time we did that. You would have one nickel. <laughs> you look like you're building something that's gonna like go on a space shuttle. This is my internship for NASA. <laughs> it kind of, the top looks like a little urinal. <laughs> I am, I am the urinal director at NASA. <laughs> That way? Yep. There you go. Keep up. You good? We now have this whole first section done. And just to show you guys how it's all going to work, when it rains, the water will come down the downspout, go into the leaf feeder, which will catch any larger debris. And then the water flows down into this first flush system. This will catch any of the sediment, dirt, sand, all that. And then the water flows back up around the bend, down the pipe into the tank. And then when we want to, we can just open up this ball valve, clean out all the sediment and everything, and also just throw a pitcher down there and catch some of the water and go ahead and reuse it and water some plants. Does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. I sounded weird. I feel like I kind of, kind of went cross-eyed there for a second. Oh my God, it's been a long day. Okay. So, <laughs> so we have that whole first pipe done. Now, what we have to do, Spencer's favorite thing, continue digging this trench. So, the trench will go this direction and then we'll bend that way. And then this side is a little different, as you can see, because in order to have the leaf eater high enough so that the water could make it to the tanks, we had to put it all the way up there, pretty much right under the downspout hole and just attach it to the fascia. A little different, but same idea. Again, you can open the ball valve and catch some of the water and reuse it. But yeah, the only thing that we have left now for this project is digging this trench and getting this last bit of pipes connected and then we'll finally be ready to catch some rainwater.
So as you can see, it's working. <laughs> we just wanted to test out the first flush systems and make sure everything looked good there. We put roughly 10 gallons into uh, the entire system so far. So, and we've heard it overflow and come down the pipes. Granted, I don't know exactly how much water is actually in the pipes right now, but as of right now, I don't see any leaks. So that's a good thing. Yeah, so... And there's probably only two sections that we're kind of like, the angles, getting them to line up just right were a little difficult. Um, so there's only two spots. I was kind of like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to watch out for this. But I mean, it everything, yeah, everything fit in good and nothing looks like it's leaking yet. Yeah, so we still have to do, you know, the whole overflow pipe and everything. But the next time it rains, we will be officially catching rainwater. Guys, it's about time. We haven't had water the entire time we've been out here, okay? So, what, like a year and a half? Yeah. We've just hauled it in, so we are ready. <laughs> 20 gallons at a time. Yeah, so <laughs> you can imagine, that's no fun. So we are ready to have some water here. Yeah, we've had, we've had rain one good time and then another sprinkle. But other than that, that's all we've had this last month or so. So hopefully we're not entering a drought <laughs> at this exact moment. <laughs> Throughout this project, we ran into countless issues, causing it to take us much longer than we had originally hoped, but we figured it all out in the end. Building our own home and learning everything as we go is quite challenging, but it is also one of the most rewarding things that we have ever done. We started out having to haul in water weekly to our powerless property, and we now have clean, drinkable rainwater that we filter using the power gathered from our solar panels. We just can't wait until we can move into our completed off-grid home. That time will be here before we know it. <laughs>